Hi, this is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California. Here today to teach you um, how to go from handstand into Urva Kukatasana, which means basically um, a crow pose with your legs in full lotus. Okay, so you're gonna be you're gonna have to be able to start a handstand in the middle of the room to get this one, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some steps that you can work on in the meantime. Maybe it's a shoulder stand, maybe it's just a headstand today, but let's work on just getting that lotus nail and then we'll talk about how to get that all the way in. Here we go. So, let's start with full lotus. Um, full lotus, when you're coming into this pose, um, you've gotta make sure that your foot is basically all the way up to your hip with the sole of your foot upside down. So you should be able to see the bottom of your foot. The mistake a lot of people make is they put their foot either in like the crease of their knee or on their knee, and they wind up with like this really high knee, and you can't really do much with a high knee. I mean, lots of things you can do with a high knee, but not with a high knee. Um, so you gotta be able to pull it in, foot upside down, and your knee has to be able to release down, okay? If your knee is up here, you're not quite ready for a full lotus. So for right now, your job is gonna be work with half lotus, which is learning to drop that foot with this foot upside down. Okay, once you've got that and your foot is secured right there into your belly, your hands come under your bottom leg and you basically just lift it in front and on top to pull it in and basically now I've got um, my feet in the knot, okay? A lot of people try it from underneath, like inside the legs, and it's not that it's not possible. Oh. But they wind up with just like this ankly thing, and you don't want just the ankly thing, you wanna be all the way up. So, foot comes up to the core, the foot is upside down, my other foot comes in. Okay, so you wanna be able to do this, and then, um, the key to being able to come down is you need to be able to come down from handstand is you need to be able to fold at the waist and get a nice low forward bend. So, you want to be able to forward fold as well. You want to be able to get your knees very, very close to your chest, not by rounding in. Remember always, within every forward bend, there's an element of a back bend, but by extending into the pose. I know that sometimes this one feels a little wonky on the ankles, so um, you just do the best you can with this one, okay? So folding forward, once that becomes easy, um, we're going to try to sort of work the full lotus in our first inversion, which will be shoulder stand. It's the easiest inversion to work with. So I'm going to turn backwards and show you how you can get into your full lotus here. Now, the first one, again, I don't want to be at the knee, okay? This isn't going to work because when my knee bends, it's going to bend forward. But I need to get it down by my hip. And if I can't do that, I can actually use my hand and pull it in. I'm still supporting myself with this arm, okay? Technically, you could do this with no hands anyway, but I'm going to show you with one hand just to make it easier. As my foot comes down, I can actually grab it, pull it towards me, so I have my full lotus upside down. Okay? Now, to practice this action of getting the knees to the chest, we're gonna do some sort of reverse lotus shoulder stand sit-ups, and they just look like this. You're gonna drop your knees to your shoulders and back up, okay? Knees down and back up, because you've got to make sure you have the mobility in your hips to be able to do this motion. When you're done, you can do five, ten, a million, however many you want. You're going to come out of the pose, and then we're going to try it in headstand, okay? Now, a headstand, I, I'm not really going to be able to reach up with my hand, right, because it's supporting me, and if I reach up, i got to have, like, amazing balance. I'm going to assume that we don't have that right now. So I'm just going to go headstand. I'm going to show you how I wrap up my legs in headstand. And really, it's the same way I do it in shoulder stand, just without the help of the hands. And then we're going to um, show you how to come to Urbha Kukatasana, which is that crow pose. 
um, from the headstand with the legs wrapped up. Okay? So, my head comes down. And I have videos on how to get into headstands and handstands and all that good stuff. So if you need help with that, um, you can check out those videos. But my legs come up. Okay? I'm going to take one foot. It doesn't really matter which foot. I'll take this foot. And remember, I'm not going to bend it to my knee, but I'm going to bend it all the way down to my leg. Now see how my knee is popping forward? Now I'm going to push it back as if my knee were going to touch the wall behind me. This is very important as the second foot comes in, it's going to want to come behind me. So as my top knee presses back, watch how I just wiggle that foot in. You see that? And I've got like a nice tight cross. You want that because if your cross is not tight, um, then your legs won't run. And then you won't be able to notice anymore. So it's pretty self-explanatory when you want it pretty tight. Okay, remember those sit-ups? I come down and I come up, okay? And you can do that as many times as you want to. It's a great arm pose and a great core strengthener. But I'm going to show you how to come to Urban Kukatasana first from this angle. And then, um, and I'm just realizing that I am now showing you so that you'll be watching my butt. So I'm not going to show it from this angle. I'm going to come down and show you again. I'm going to show you from this angle because you really don't want to look at my butt. Okay, because you already know how to get into the... Um, the lotus, so let me show you how to move that up on. Okay, I'm down, my necklace is out of the way, my legs come up, and by the way, I have a video also on how to get from headstand to crow, which is sort of the step before this one. So here comes my knee, you see how it's forward? I'm gonna push it backwards for leverage. My other leg comes down, squishes in, okay? Now, as if I'm going to do that little sit-up, I'm going to come in, but I'm going to try to get my knees as far to my armpits as possible. And this is a very important point. I'm going to curl into my armpit, so I can basically sit down. I'm going to imagine I'm sitting on the ground, and my head is going to extend forward like a turtle to take me into my pose. Then I can straighten my arms and lift from my core for stability. Okay, to come back out, you just come out the same way you came in. But let me just say that if you come down and your knees are just at your elbows, um, your hips aren't going to be able to come heavy enough um, to get you into your arm balance. So you've got to really, really, really curl in. If you watch... Um, my video on crow to, um, sorry, from headstand to crow, and also handstand to crow, you'll see that what I'm doing essentially is imagine I have this ball of energy right here at my core, and I'm rolling around it, okay? So I'm not going down at a diagonal. I'm going down in an arc. I'm scooping, keeping my hips always as high as possible, as long as possible, and then going in for the kill, swooping forward to get to my arms. So, to get from handstand, I'm actually going to show you from just a kicking up entry. You can enter however way you want. And yeah, this is turning into the Shauna Plug Show, but I've got like a thousand handstand videos of all the different kinds that you can enter, um, different kinds of ways. Okay, so. I'm going to come into my handstand. My, my entry for right now is going to be kicking up because this one's easiest because my bottom leg, the one that's going to wrap first, is actually never even has to go all the way up to the sky. So I look forward. I take my hop. I fold my leg into the crease of my hip, right? Push it back. Other leg squishes it. Now looking forward, I keep my hips high as I do that reverse sit-up. Here come my knees. I'm looking way forward for support. And in I come. When I get to my stomach, I move in for the kill. I'm in the same pose as I was before, and I can actually just unwrap right into my crow for an easy exit. Okay.
There's a lot of stuff that goes into like learning the elements of coming into this, but once you have the elements by watching all of my other videos, um, this actually does come together. I hope that helped you out. I love this transition. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, wishing you an awesome day.